picking what type of graph you're going to draw is a really, really important skill you need for GCSE. So most of my students really like drawing bar graphs, they want to draw bar graphs, they automatically go towards drawing bar graphs, but unfortunately bar graphs um, aren't drawn very often because bar graphs offer categoric data. And by categoric data I mean things like um, uh, colours, days, one that I like to use is uh, types of socks. So with colours we can have um, pink, blue, we can have black, but what we can't have is pink and a half. We can't have blue and a half and we can't have black and a half. There's not really anything in between pink and blue. It's either pink or it's blue or it's black. It's one or the other. With days, it can be Monday, it can be Tuesday, or it can be Wednesday. It can't really be Monday or Tuesday, it can't be Monday and a half. And with types of socks, we can be plain, or we can be stripy. There are a few other things we can be like flowering, spotty, but we're either one type of sock, or we're another type of sock. So categoric data, you're either something, or you're something else, there's no in-betweens. Line graphs are the type of graphs you're going to be drawing most at GCSE. These are for continuous data. So as you may have guessed from bar graphs, continuous data are the graphs that we can have halves of. So if you go for height, you can be 1 metre, you can be 2 metres, you can be 1.5 metres, you can be 1.75 metres or you can be any number in between. The point of continuous data is that you can be zero, or you can be 100, or you can be absolutely any number in between. Um, doesn't matter how small that division is. So we can have height, we can have time, because you can be two seconds, you can be two minutes, you can be two hours, two days, or two years, or you can be any number in between between and we could have age so you could be 13 you could be uh, 14 or you could be 400 and you can have any number in between so continuous data where you can have numbers in between we draw a line graph for categoric data where you're something or you're something else we draw bar charts Thanks for watching. I really hope this is helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Share to help your friends get better grades. Any comments, corrections, questions or requests down below please.